what is going on guys today we are looking at prime moment eusebio and before we kind of get into obviously his loan because his icon is just crazy he is coming in at a whopping if i can get him which i haven't actually got him set up so let's just make sure that we don't look like a little bit average so he's coming in at 2.6 mil tradable and his SBC is coming in at 2.7 on the xbox you give up bronze and silver as normal an 82 and 83 284s 285s 286s 287s 288s and 389s it is a big SBC, and, and and so rightly it is. He is an incredible card. We've used him in a draft once, and oh my god, he is fantastic. He's the perfect link for Ronaldo. He links everybody together. Renato Sanchez, a bit of Bruno. He is one of the best icons that obviously everybody wants, so I expect him to be this much. He's there for 80 days, which is something that I don't agree with. I feel like a card of this caliber, especially if they do start bringing out these SBCs, is they need to be non-expiry because what happens next week if they bring out a moment's hullet? You then potentially put in 289 rated squads to then want hullet instead. I think for me, these need to be non-expiry. Obviously, we hopefully will get everybody in packs. We will just kind of uh, jump over to his stats and carry on the intro. So, as you can see, we've got the loan version. Obviously, we could not quite afford the, uh, the the actual SBC as of yet. I'm debating whether to do him. Obviously, we're going to have to kind of wait and just see if they bring out any more icons. We did get a 92 plus icon pack, so it may be worth kind of just doing them and kind of hoping, but we'll see. We'll kind of see how we go. I'm waiting for the repeatable again. I like the 92 plus, but for me, I just prefer to do the actual icon SBC, which will probably come out very soon and probably a little bit cheaper. Whereas Eusebio is a 5'9 striker, he is 4 star, 5 star, uh, what has he got, flair outside of the foot, and power free kick I suppose. In terms of stats then, so chemistry style wise, we're going to be going with architect, hawk, engine or basic. So let's have a look what the architect actually does to him. So give him 95 pace and 90 physical. He's already got pretty much the max sort of shooting pace. Uh, dribbling looks pretty fantastic. So I think architect would suit him down to the ground. Give him that little bit extra on the passing. He does turn into a 95 striker or obviously a 96 center forward slash cam. Plus then that, that kind of physical boost taking his strength from a 77 to a 95 and his aggression up to 78 the card is fantastic I, I already can tell you it's going to be a 10 out of 10 let's have a look at some obvious goals hopefully and see what he can do first things first straight into Eusebio here the one thing always to know is he is just he's a game winner and I think that the big thing that people are going to be is is he is very expensive which to be honest I don't blame them he is one of the best striker cards. Obviously, if you are doing icon packs, if you're looking at Portugal, you want in that centre forward, regardless of the version. And I think he's one of the, the ones that it doesn't matter the version, you'd still be happy with pretty much any version of him. So obviously, that is a big thing. Someone who's going to bring that attacking forward f literally like that. Eusebio is going to dance a little bit, get the finesse, and that is just a simple finish. Great assist from Paqueta. Eusebio... Go on, look at that. David Luiz is... Oh, no, it's Aki, in fact. Aki's having no luck keeping hold of Eusebio here. Really trying to just kind of use that one player, literally. And, and this is what he does. He brings players out of position. They don't know where you're going. They don't know how good you are with him and literally this is just standard dribbling it's not even any sort of skill moves it's a simple ball roll mixed with a bit of left stick and and that can be enough and i think once you've mastered that and obviously the movements of a left stick you're in kind of like half the battle there once then you can kind of tie that in with skill moves you've got yourself a dangerous card and i think that's something that you definitely want to be trying to learn as quick as possible in a brand new game is you start with a ball roll you then look at a step over you can and then eliminate what works if you know the step overs have been nerfed maybe the kind of um the speed coming out of a step over isn't as good as what it was to start with then obviously you want to be looking at something else is it la croquetas is it el tornados as soon as you start just doing a couple literally you can increase your game by tenfold and to Sabio again is going to make aki look stupid this time he does not know where he's going he's going to fake it going that way Fake shot, turn it again, he's still got it, that's a penalty, didn't kind of expect Schmeichel to come to feet there, but gives it the big one, going to look for this bottom left, of course we're not, 
We're going to go for the cheeky chip. Ah, when he's read it all day long. Love it. Absolutely love it. Eusebio. And there it is. Oh, I thought he might have been able to get that corner. A little bit far off, but again, you can see it. It's just striving forward. The defender doesn't know what to do against him. And again, a little quick one-two into Eusebio. is going to take it away from Schmeichel. Got to go with a little rainbow flick. Gets caught. Neymar's going to find in a bit of Paqueta. Going to go for that rocket with his left. And Schmeichel with a fantastic save. Oh, Eusebio outside the box. Oh, Eusebio with a quick dribble there. You can see him getting that space absolutely instantly. But unfortunately not being able to get the shot off that I wanted. Little dink into Eusebio. But Donnarumma is coming out once more again. Oh, Eusebio making everybody look silly, unfortunately. Again, not finding the shot, but you can just see the, the literal skill that you can get from this guy and what he possesses in that box. People just have to dive because if he gets that shot off, you know where it's going. It doesn't go anywhere but the back of the net normally. It's a great save from Donnarumma. Passes it back. One more. A little bang. Quilla Bali in the way. Bang. Oh, the power that he gets off, literally just a, a kind of a running shot, nothing really set up, is incredible. And if you can get him in that heading position as well, for someone who's quite small, really gets a lot of power behind his headers. Xavier's just got the pace to burn against someone like Koulibaly. Go with a little inside, that's not the skill move I wanted, but he takes it back. He's just going to outrun everybody. Managing to stop that side. I'm going to try and come back outside now. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, we just couldn't get it back to him. That back heel took that extra second that unfortunately the defender could attack with. Just trying to wait for him to make a foul, to be honest. Little ball roll. He knows we're going to step inside, but... Donnarumma has been a lifeline for him. I think for me, Eusebio is, was 100% worth it. If obviously you're not too fussed about icon packs and obviously going for the look rather than anything, I would say you definitely want to be doing him. Trying to just put everything into him. We will more than likely get everything back in packs. I don't think there's been a FIFA in a long time that hasn't had at least some things back in packs. So I'm hoping that comes out after the Euros is or the Euros promo is fully complete on Friday. But whether we take a week break is the next question. But that should make it a lot easier to get someone like Eusebio done. And that's normally what helped with the non-expiry iris uh i non-expiry sbc icons last fifa 19 but obviously at that point we could just put in absolutely anybody and uh the ratings were a little bit a little bit easier as such and you did get good packs back as well which was always nice 100k packs what 50k packs but again non-expiry as well so you could kind of chip it away every so often and I do think if you like icon packs, maybe you like the, the, the kind of chance to get somebody good back to back for like 600k rather than 2.9 mil, then obviously then yeah, 100% do them. I would kind of just pick one or the other because what you'll find is after 80 days, you may not have them done. And then you're either going to have to overbuy or obviously it, it's pretty much the end of the game by then. So I would say you've got to focus on one or the other because it would be very, very difficult to get both done unless you are spending mad FIFA points already and getting very lucky, to be honest. Again, all of the cards that you need is most definitely not an easy task. Donnarumma, honestly, not the greatest shots in, in the past couple of minutes, but definitely making some saves that I really kind of would expect a little bit more to actually really test the keeper. Into Eusebio. It's going to have that beautiful striker's mentality. Oh, and we hit the post. <laughs> Obviously, we are toying with him a little bit. We should have just absolutely nailed that in. But I thought, you know what? We're going to make a little spectacle of it. Obviously, we know Eusebio is going to be fantastic. He is just a god at this game. Honestly, he has been for 
X amount of years of being on here. He just seems to make things work. So it's only right we go for the bangers. I can score tap-ins with him. He's, he could do that all game long. 10, 15, 20 goals every couple of games quite easily for the tap-ins. But I want to see what it's like when it's kind of unnatural circumstances. Shooting from 20 yards, shooting the finesse from outside the box. Can he do that? We know he can tap it in. If he couldn't tap it in and he's worth 2.8, then obviously we're doing something wrong. I wanted to not do that actually. Oh, that is it. All day long, as soon as Quillabali stepped off there, you knew that come back inside and go for that finesse was always going to happen. If you're in the box, he's going to score it. And we had to do it because he did score just and he made a celebration out of it. Knowing that we've been hitting it from 20, 30 yards, decides to go with the sweaty celebration. So we just need to let him know that obviously we are here. Finding him in. Can we find that inside? Go with the left foot finesse. Game over. Thank you very much. It's nice of you to come. How on earth did he win that header? It's on for his hat trick. Can we find it in late fashion? It's going to go for that finesse. And that is a great tipped save from Donnarumma. Going to go for the header. But unfortunately, it is going to fall to Mbappe outside the box. Who's going to let that go? And that is full time. So going into the overall for Eusebio then. As we could see, 2.6 on the transfer market. Just update that price. So yeah, so pretty much the same. 2.6. 2.65 and obviously 3.75, 2.68, 2.66, 3.3 as the cost is. Obviously, I feel like the PC is going to be more better kind of value, but obviously it's a little bit harder, I can imagine, to get all of that fodder. It may not be. Obviously, I've not played PC, but the sort of chem we're looking for is like 30, 35 and 35 here. So when you're looking at 280k, it isn't awful, but obviously you do need a team of the season or team of the week. I think the team of the season is actually quite a nice one. Um, this guy's gone with the opposite. So he's gone with the 94, 94, 93, 94. So that's a huge, huge decrease. So to be honest, I think these cards at the moment are helping out massively. But I'm hoping these cards go back into packs. So obviously when we get everything like informs the best uh, freeze cards, the best uh, path to glories, I'm hoping summer stars are put back in that list because obviously the 94 summer is a lot better than getting the team of the season summer it just makes this SBC a hell of a lot easier in terms of the entire SBC I really don't think it's that bad I feel like he's actually quite a good value even if yes there is a lot of daunting tasks you've got 80 80 days to maybe just do one a week you've got how many SBCs in total uh, I think it's 17, I want to say. Um, but literally, if you think about it like this, if you go and say, I want to get the bronze and silver done this week, for instance, get them done, two done. Then you want to get the 82 and obviously the 83 done. Again, it's not a problem. 284s, maybe then go to 185. Maybe you start from 89 at that point. I'd probably say do like kind of these bottom six first and then go from top to bottom because I feel like the 85s could be utilized obviously alongside some 94s, which would be absolutely easy as pie. But it all depends on what comes out in packs. If everything does, obviously it'll make it a hell of a lot easier because there'll be a lot more higher rated coming in your packs. So that's always an interesting one. As for the card, we knew it was going to be phenomenal. His dribbling is fantastic. Shooting's brilliant. His presence on the ball and what he makes other players do, they fully commit rather than half commit. And overall, he's just a wonderful, wonderful card to play with. I feel like he's probably so worth it in terms of not taking that risk because obviously he's 2.5 mil now if you've got the coins it's a great bargain for him normally at this point of the game he's still quite up there maybe not kind of like your 10 15 mils but it, i think he was at least about 5 7 probably by this point in the game but i feel like he probably was harder to get I don't know. But overall, he's obviously going to be a 10. He is absolutely fantastic at pretty much everything he does. It's a shame we haven't got the 5-star, five 5-star, five because I feel like that would probably triple his price on this game. But that being said, we will try and grind this SBC out and chip away as we go forward. Hopefully you did enjoy the content. If you did, make sure you slap a like on it. And if you hit that bell button, if you are willing to subscribe, I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.